Hey, what's up, guys? This is Julio Rodriguez. Uh, so, as some of you guys know, I put out a tweet a few days ago asking, asking you guys for a few questions. I'm going to be answering all these questions right now in this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. My favorite all-time player is A-Rod, definitely A-Rod. It was a guy that I really look up to, and I really like his game and the way that he take care of his business, business on and off the field. Um, if I could have a sit down with any former MLB player, probably Derek Jeter, though. I feel like that was a guy that I really like his mentality, how he views competition and how he goes about winning. I really like that. I feel like because his brain would be pretty special for me. For somebody visiting the DR for the first time, I feel like they go two choices. I was Punta Cana, but definitely the north side of the country, Puerto Plata and all that definitely offer you a really local uh, taste of the Dominican culture. If you want more than the tourist side, you can go to Punta Cana or or go to the north side where you're gonna have like a really cultural environment. The best pitcher I face in the minor leagues, probably Ryan Pepe. I really, I really give props to that guy. Uh, really big competitor. I got a few hits off of him, but I also got a few strikeouts too. So he was a tough guy. Growing up, show that I used to watch as that I still watch is Naruto, honestly. Uh, I grew up watching that anime, uh, kind of muddled my personality a little bit, I like it. And I still, nowadays, I'm still watching that show. Mama, let's know those people, I really miss you guys. It was a fun time playing there. But my favorite, favorite sunflower seeds, probably the pickle one. That's the only place I like pickle. I honestly do not like pickle, but I feel like sunflower seeds, I feel like I like that. I like those. Uh, my favorite Rodriguez player, probably myself, honestly. Uh, and where I would rank? Well, I guess we'll have to find out at the end of my career. Uh, my favorite memory from amateur baseball, probably like hitting my first homer ever in front of my dad. I was like 12 years old, and like, I was facing this lefty, I remember. And it was a fast one inside, took him down the line, and my dad was so happy that I can still remember like he, the look on his face. So it was a pretty cool moment. Shout out to Tony, and uh, I feel like this video of Edgar hitting that double down the line that's called Griffey, I feel like that was a pretty surreal moment that I've watched. And like definitely motivate me to like have my own big moments for the Mariners, but also those like, three games, this last three game series that we had, that I was able to like watch it as a fan over there in Seattle. So I feel like that's a pretty surreal moment to me too. Just kind of like, uh, like made me feel, and like made me want to be on the field, kind of like performing in those moments. Uh, Han, I, did, I honestly don't. I, I don't, I don't, I feel like I like doing things in my own way. And like the way that I'm swinging right now, let's say that's how I used to, how I used to swing since I was a kid, so I feel like I was like to have like kind of my own style. Uh, picture from history that I want to face and like how would it go? Definitely want to face Pedro Martinez though. I'm, I, I, have, I have had the pleasure to meet him, but I feel like facing him will be pretty interesting experience. So, but I definitely will look forward to taking deep. If, I'm, if I face anybody, I would definitely look forward to taking deep. Uh, me and my dad would love coffee, honestly, like, he loves coffee even more than me, I like it, I would drink it with him every single time I'm, I'm, I'm in the DR, but, uh, we definitely do like it a lot, and we like it black. We put some milk on, milk on it sometimes, some creamer too, but I feel like black, we always drink it black. So for my bad choice, you definitely gotta watch the video that we post on my YouTube channel, so. There's a lot of information there that you might like. Oh, I'm pretty sure if, you, if you're if wondering how I made my badge, you definitely want to get on that video and watch it. So I'm going to recommend it for you down here. My favorite player is not on the Mariners. Right now, probably Juan Soto and Fernando Tatis. Those are my two favorite right now. 
Uh, routines that I follow before every game, probably meditate though. I like meditating just kind of to put my mind in the right spot and be ready to compete. I feel like that's like a big part for me. That I just kind of like how my mind is before every single game. So I feel like I take care of that before every time. My favorite American food is definitely Chick-fil-A. I cannot lie about that. I cannot lie about that. Been cutting it off a little bit. Not a lot of Chick-fil-A anymore. Uh, and Dominican food, there's so many. It's just, it's, just, it's just like a wide variety of food. Like white rice, bean, fried plantains, uh, chicken, uh, mango. There's so many other, so many different types of food that I like from the DR that it's just hard to just pick one. I enjoy watching basketball. Basketball and football, honestly. I feel like I, I enjoy those the most. Uh, besides baseball and I play a little bit of basketball in, when I was in high school like kind of middle school too but I was I was high at it I can shoot a little bit but that's about it I mean I'm bigger now I might I can dunk too I can dunk too for sure uh, my favorite thing to do in baseball is definitely win I hate losing the most I hate losing the most so like Sometimes it doesn't matter if you hit a home or you end up losing the game. That That's not a good feeling for me. I know a lot of you guys might think, oh, uh, he's just saying that for the camera or this, this, and that. But that's, that's just how I go about my business, though. I like winning more than anything else. And that's what I always go, go out and try to do every single game. Win, no matter what. If I could have dinner for with any baseball player from the past, uh, number one probably would be Derek Jeter. As I was saying earlier, like I really like that guy, like his mentality, how he goes about winning. I feel like talking to him is definitely going to motivate me a lot. Uh, let me see who else. Pedro Martinez and David Ortiz. I, I got, I got, the, I got, the, I got the pleasure to meet uh, David Ortiz and uh, Pedro Martinez. But I feel like with that group, that that rivalry, that that they had, like all those competitive moments that they had against each other. I feel like it would be a pretty cool moment for me just to kind of like learn about that. I feel like players I am like, I mean, there isn't a lot of players that I really look up to, but as I, as I was saying earlier, like I'm the type of guy that I kind of like, like doing my own thing, just kind of like show my, my true self, not trying to copy anybody else. I feel like everybody got their own gift. So I feel like I like using mine, and I'm pretty happy with mine. I'm, but Ichiro is definitely not a bad player to emulate, honestly. I love Ichiro. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't talked to Ichiro. He's like actually my training partner, so I troll with him every single time. So he always gives me like a lot of a lot of advice to like how to stay consistent and like doing the, the right things every like all the time. Like how to get under the ball, like how to make the right throw, like how to not overthrow, how to not get too excited and maybe take the wrong decision so like he always teaches me how like stay stay calm and collected so like i can perform my best on the outfield my swing most similar to it. there's a lot of people that have told me that i have kind of like that miguel cabrera kind of feel and uh so i feel like i would say i would say him i mean it's not that it's definitely not a bad a bad guy to have a similar swing like the red way is definitely diagonal. Whoever goes it straight down the middle is not living right, honestly. I like diagonal all the time. Right, so guys, so I feel like that this, this is gonna be it for the day. I wanna thank you all for this. You guys made this, this video possible. I'm definitely thinking of doing more videos like this in the future. I hope you guys keep enjoying the videos, like and subscribe, and let's roll. Oh. <laughs> That's it.